Hey babes, welcome to the Happiness Hills channel. Today I'm going to be doing a budgeting slash planner slash crafting type project. I'm going to show you how to put together a cashless envelope tracker. I currently have been using this happy planner, half sheet planner. I basically put one of these together from an old happy planner box along with one of the envelopes to catch my receipts, but I really haven't been using that one. And then these expense trackers and I created one for each of my categories. This has been working okay, but as you can see, I could use a better system. And I also was using the back piece for notes. So I decided that I wanted to um, actually invest in the Budget Mom cashless trackers. I saw that she put together something using her cash envelope insert. And I think this is a much better system because it's basically what I have been doing just with the descriptions in place for all of the tracking that I need to do. I'm going to open this up and I recently purchased this from her website. I know she has a, had a sale going on when I bought it. So it was less than $5, I think, for the pack. But then you also have to pay shipping. But I ended up purchasing two packs of them just because I tend to use them rather quickly and I didn't want to have to keep running back to buy them back to back. So I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in a pack and I think that's just what I need to start out if not then I will get my other pack and add to it as well I also am going to use a ruler an ink pen and I love these new sharpie Ashdale pens 0.7s if you haven't tried them I definitely recommend trying them I have an old planner set this came from a mini planner that I used to have and I'm going to use that as my cover I have a pair of scissors here as well as my jar of happy planner wings so I'm going to use some of these to help me create my binder for this okay and I also have my happy planner punch here that I'll be using to put it all together first and foremost let me measure out the length of the cards here because I'm going to need that in order to create my cover now, let's see yeah this is the inch side so about six about six and a half I'm thinking if I make my cover seven inches long, that should give me a good length. And then we're almost three inches wide. So if I give myself three and a half, that gives me a little bit of hangover. Three and a quarter across and seven inches down. Okay, so... The plan here, and I'm hoping this works, otherwise I won't be uploading this video. If I, if I measure this out and cut it out, then I can use this, repunch it and use it as a cover for this. Actually, maybe I will cut it along the grid line. That's... Scoring it. Is it scoring it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yep, and that good enough though. Right to that point there. And then And the quarter goes out to here. Okay. And then connect the two. I think that will give me the length that I want. I've scored the old cover and basically I'm going to cut around where it's already pre-punched so I don't have to punch it again. I'm just using regular heavy duty scissors. Trying to follow the lines that I've created. It's not perfect. It's not a science. 
but hopefully it will work. Now the other piece too, and this is a lesson learned, is that I actually use the side that I want for my cover to measure it out. And I probably should have did that because then I have all this ink around it. But actually it's rubbing off, which is good. And this is exactly what I had in my eyes. Let's see how that looks with the card underneath. Assuming that I get those punched too. This time, I'm going to use the back side. Kind of outline the one that I already cut. It may not be perfect because I do see that it's a little rounded. But as long as it works, that's the plan. So I'm trying to score this as well as I can to make sure that I only have to do one cut. Okay, and now we're going to cut around the scored area. We're going to put our little cards in between these two covers, and that should work. So let me start punching. Now that we've cut out our cover, let me start punching the cards. And let's see. Okay, let's see if that works. Bada bang, bada boom. So I need to do that for all of the cards. So basically, I'm lining up the bottom of my card. If you don't have a happy planner punch, you might have to get one. Or what you could do is also use a A5 punch and then you could use that. But I mean, the point of trying to do this is really using the Happy Planner supplies. So I would say if this Happy Planner method doesn't work for you, you don't have the rings, you don't have the punch, you don't have a way to create that. You probably want to think about getting a small A5 wallet, which a lot of them come with the cash envelopes in them. You can take the cash envelopes out and just punch the cards to match the A5. And I think that's actually the way that the budget mom is also using her. She, from what I know, is not a happy planner um, or doesn't use their product. So her method is also easy to access. And you can find an A5 hole punch rather inexpensively on the Amazon website. As you can see, I've punched all of my cards with my Happy Planner punch. So they're all set. I've got my new cover. And I am now going to figure out what... I think I'm going to use these little gold ones if I have enough. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, six. I think I have enough. Six, seven, yep, let's see. Boom. So I'm going to use these small. Okay, so I've got my seven gold metal. These are really cute too. Gold metal, happy planner disc. I've got my cards punched. I've got my cover cut out.
Okay, and the great thing about this system is if I need more cards, which I'm going to start writing in my categories to see if I need more cards, then I can always just punch more and add them in. That's the great thing about this disc system. So this one has to create 365 on the back, so I definitely want that to be the back cover. And then this will be the front cover. I've been thinking that I might want to put some kind of phrase here, but for right now, I kind of actually just like it plain like that. The only thing I can see a little bit is that the back cover seems wider. Therefore, I can actually see it more. And that I don't like, so I'm going to cut that down a little bit more. So the main thing is just trying to cover the cards to preserve them a little longer than usual. So I'm going to try to keep it like this. I think this turned out pretty decent. I did want to go ahead and write in my categories. So we have groceries. We have dining out, beauty. Medical. Pet. Gash. Car wash. Dry cleaning. And last but definitely not least, miscellaneous. I'm going to start actually with these. These are my eight most common categories. I'll do an update soon in terms of how I'm tracking them or use them during one of my budget with me sessions so you can see how I actually track these. But yeah, this is how I set up my little booklet. I'm excited about that. Hopefully it gave you some inspiration to create your own. Like I said, either using the A5 method, which is just basically three hole punches up top, three down the bottom, or the happy planner version with the rings. And I like this version because I can go back and find some extra note paper, like from one of my mini planners, cut it down to size, and then also keep that in here in case I need it as well. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be informed the next time we have something to share here on the Happiness Heals channel. Ciao!